What's up, my dudes? How's it going today? Dak Blake here, and today we're looking at Garden of Band Band 6. That's right, today it is finally here. Garden of Band Band 6's official trailer has just dropped, and I'm excited. It's crazy. It, I didn't even think it would come out today, but it just did like a couple hours ago. I'm sitting here, I'm ready to go. So, do you know how they always show like gameplay in this? I want to see if today we could recreate the gameplay in our mods. Just bring it to life early. I don't know if it's possible, but I'm excited. And the main goal is, is we always try to find secrets. I feel like we kind of are, are getting better at finding the secrets in the background. So, without further ado, let's just watch this. So, I have no idea what to expect. But hey, off the bat, what are these things? It looks like they're, um... They're like slimes almost. Is that Jester? What? It's like a giant indoor city or something? Oh man, I, I, there, there's too much already off the bat. I don't, I don't even know what to focus on. Okay. What is this? What? Oh my gosh! Wait, wait, wait! Did you just see that? So, it, oh my gosh! Yeah, and they did. There's this. Uh, what is it? Jester's falling. It looks like a huggy wuggy moment. Whoa! I am blown away at just like the detail that's in this. I mean, look at that! Whoa! That doesn't even look like Garden of Batman. Okay. Uh, Kitty Saurus. Oh man. You know, there's so much that I, I'm already thinking like that's hidden in the background here. Ooh. This looks pretty cool. What? Okay. Oh man, I just noticed the theme of showing every character. I wonder what that means though. All right. Ha any reveal? Any anything crazy? Oh, oh, we got something. Ooh, okay, so in the background here, in the darkness, rises the craziest thing I've ever seen. What? What even is that? Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so cool. <laughs> okay, there's a lot to unpack here. So first of all, we have these like slime creatures. Can I like get a good look at them? We, we see them a little bit later, but there's like a pack of them. And obviously they're dangerous, right? It seems like we were running from them. Look, what is this? Oh man. Oh, right there. I see it. I see it. They're, they're just kind of like teeth in, in mouths. <laughs> they don't even have faces. But then we cut to like a house on a road. It kind of reminds me of almost like Hello Neighbor style, like lighting, you know, it kind of looks like it's like an indoor area for some reason. Oh, it is probably, right? I mean, the entire facility was, is within Garden of Band Band, so it has to be. Yeah, you can see the, the outside here. Whoa. Hey, make sure you, uh, you go the speed limit. The speed limit says 15. Don't, don't go fast. Oh, but I do notice a giant cage outside. I. I feel like that's going to be important right there. Just a random giant cage outside of a, a random house. So, Nabnalina. We see Jester, the Nabnalina, with the craziest looking thing there. That, that looked like an MRI machine. So, we have like a full-on hospital here. It is. It's like a... I mean, you know how like before we had the infirmary with Banbit in it? This one's like a full surgery center. And then this! What is this? There's it's just nothing explained of just like... Two halves of jesters falling into the abyss here. They're just like, see ya. <laughs> and then after that, who's this? I'm almost like uncertain here. Uh, is that, these are not new characters. Who has one eye? I'm trying to think. I don't think there's any characters that have one eye. And then this doesn't even look like any of the characters we know. These probably are new, right? I mean, am I crazy? I'm probably missing something, right? And then we get the bird flying in, which I guess you have to assume that you're in a giant area. There's just a tree growing out of the side of the wall here. It's like a new camp. Oh, uh, is this one of the old, uh, what is it? Failed jesters, right? Just kind of out and about. Looks like he's moving. Then it cuts back to Kitty Saurus. I'm kind of confused because I almost thought we were done with Kitty Saurus, but... You know what? I, I mean, I guess there's probably some more. So as we continue this breakdown process, keep in mind that every little detail that they show is kind of like a glimpse into what we have to do. I remember we were doing this back in Garden of Batman 4, which now feels crazy to think about how long ago that was, but we were looking at little details and then it turned into like this crazy amount of puzzles in the game. Like, what is this here? What do we have to do? It looks like we have like a platform to go up and turn in a key card and then we have to like open buttons, maybe to drop the key cards. 
And I think that in the background here, is Jester helping us? Because he looks like he's walking so casually. Like this to me does not does not scream like I'm a villain. It kind of just screams like, hey, hey, buddy, hey, hold on. Let me let me catch up. And then this area, this looks so cool for some reason. It almost feels like a pool house. You know what? What if we try to like recreate this to some extent? I feel like this one would be really, really cool. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna take way too long to do it. I'll do it right after we, we talk about all this stuff. Hey, we'll bring it to life. Then this, this next part right here, this looks like the craziest puzzle we've ever seen. Every single time you jump on something, it like turns all of the platforms. So do you have to anticipate getting like thrown off? Like if I was to jump here, it would go like around to here. And if I jump here, it's gonna like spin around. I think you have to do like a bunch of calculations almost to just not fall. <laughs> this is a really cool puzzle, very different. You know, I think that these puzzles are really, really cool because I don't even know what kind of puzzle this is. It's probably way more complicated than I'm thinking, but like these ones compared to like, like these, this one, I mean, this one wins, you know? <laughs> and then we have a maze. We just have a like hedge maze just randomly in the game there. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> My jokes are so bad. So the thing that I notice is that we have no new characters here, kind of in the pictures, which makes me, oh, you know what? It probably has to do a lot with villains now because there are no friends. I remember we read that. Oh, now it's all updated. The, um, what is it? Garden of Band Band 6 Steam page is like all new. Yeah, it says no more friends to make. You have to, you have run out of friends to make from now on. You only meet new enemies. That's why on that picture, there is no new friends. And then this guy, this is crazy. You know what it feels like? It almost feels like an even more mutated form of like Nab Nab, doesn't it? It almost feels like the body is the teeth going up to the top and then you have Nab Nab's eyes. It really kind of feels like that. You just have the teeth, they're giant now. Very giant. Oh man. So I, I'm thinking that this is also gonna be one of the monsters. I don't wanna run from this thing. I don't know if we're gonna have to fight this thing, but that is crazy and cool at the same time. Okay, let's go and like remake uh, that, that one section. This one, right here. I wanna remake this. All right, I just spent <laughs> the last like 30 minutes doing this and it looks terrible, but you know what? I tried. This is my recreation. <laughs> you know what? It doesn't look too bad. Hold on, you gotta give it the cinematic look, you know? Like walk around like, oh wow. You know, I tried to bring it to life. I don't think, actually, you know what? This is pretty cool, a little bit. Welcome to my new chair sitting area. We got the watering cans. Hold on. Just take a picture of this in your in your brain. Look at that. And boom. Kind of, right? <laughs> you know, it's my own little interpretation of it. We have our own brand new area here. Now, the crazy part is I think that we're going to have like so many new areas. It's kind of like, honestly, we try. I'm trying to do all these mods in different zones. There's going to be so many zones that every mod video is going to be like in a different area, right? And you know what? I'd welcome that because every detail that I saw in that trailer was amazing. Because we have this like new zone right here. Um, we have this one, which is like, I, oh, you know what that is? It's probably inside the house. You know what? It's probably right here. It's probably inside this house. That, I mean, it kind of matches, right? Oh, do you know what I just realized? This is Syringion's area. We are kind of forgetting what we saw before. Oh, I just looked. All of these have been removed. So if this is correct, they showed Kitty Soros just in the trailer. So... I think Kitty Soros has to be important. Syringion, we just saw the, um, what is it? The operating room right there. Jester, obviously. Is Zolfius and uh, Tamataki and Chamataki, are they gonna actually like play a role? This is like the villain's image right here, which is this the, the exact opposite of what we see in the end. I guess, you know, it, I mean, Jumbo Josh has never been the nice guy, you know? Same with the pillow bird. So I don't know what this is, you know? It's kind of like, they just have a random collection of characters here and then all the other ones on the outside. <laughs> you got these guys and then you got the other guys. All right, so from what we know about the game as well, I think the ending is talking about uh, getting a scepter for Queen Bouncelia as we end. We literally just go down the elevator and go to a, like the next level. I think that then from there, we're gonna have to assume that Queen Bouncelia is just lying on the floor. All the while the mini of Bird is like, what are you, what are you doing? 
So we just have to pretend that Queen Bancelia is like this. Bonk. <laughs> there we go. I uh, don't know why her head's in the ground, but it works. So then this is what's going to happen. You know, Queen Bancelia is kind of exploded, is on the floor, as seen in like this image. But then what's probably going to happen is that everything's going to load up and uh wait where did my floor go <laughs> hold on my floor is gone randomly uh, i didn't need the floor anyway i think that we're gonna load up though in the next chapter and then jester's gonna be like i um i made a mistake i think <laughs> i think that's what we're seeing here is that he's kind of like walking us through we're gonna have to go to different areas probably right then we'll have to face off against this giant monster don't even know i guess the giant monster syringion Oh, see, I don't even know about the other ones. What do you guys think? Do you think that Jester's gonna be nice? I, I don't know. I have no clue. But uh, yeah, all of the hard work that I spent has now been destroyed instantly. <laughs> all right, I think I just fixed everything. It's all good. But yeah, what do you guys think? I think that's it. There's like, there's nothing else to really look at. We kind of broke everything down. We learned a lot though. Let's kind of go over it. We got the little slime creatures, right? We got um, the new house. Uh, we got, what was like this area, right? We saw Syringian's area there. Uh, we saw uh, two jesters, two half jesters, it looks like, falling, kind of like Huggy Wuggy, just gone. A new really bizarre area with trees growing on the sides of walls. The fact that Jester might be helping us. Puzzles and then a brand new monster here, which kind of feels like a Nap Nap 2.0, right? Doesn't it? It really kind of does. But I want to see your theories about what's going to happen. You know, paint a picture. What happens right after we get off the elevator? See if you're right, you know? But I'm so excited. I also... Tune in tomorrow. I have a crazy mod that I'm excited to show you guys. It's going to be really, really cool. So, hey, if you're new, make sure to subscribe by uh, punching, punching the, the subscribe button. <laughs> you're just sitting there like, I don't want to punch my phone <laughs> or the TV, the remote. I can't. But hey, then I welcome you to the DAC pack as we go into 3 million subscribers. We're getting close. You know, it's going fast. I thank God every day I'm able to do things like this. And I hope you have an amazing day today. I hope to make you smile in the next episode. Probably coming up right now. I'll see you there. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, peace out, my dudes.